Hi there, my name's Kate. And the guy you see coming in and out of film is the husband, Nigel. We ride electric hardtail mountain bikes. Yep, it's great fun, but we don't do the technical high level stuff that the youngsters do. We like nice off-road routes where possible, things that are scenic. So I've put this ride together, which is in the Windermere area in Cumbria. See what you think. Hopefully at some point you'll be able to ride it. So parked up at the side of the Hawkshead to Ambleside Road. At the Ambleside end at a place called Brathy. We've managed to just park at the side of the road. And the best part is it's free. So from here, we're going to set off and head towards Ray Castle using the cycle track that goes alongside the road. Okay, so route cycle six comes along here. This is the off-road section. Happy days. Let's go. So today's ride, well, we're kind of just winging it, really. We found a parking space at the side of the road at Brathe, which we didn't expect to find. Seeing it's such a lovely fine day, we thought everywhere would be full. We had planned to go to Hawkshead or to the Grisdale Forest itself. Hi. Um, and park up there and do the cycle trail. But um, seeing we've got parked towards Ambleside, ideal opportunity to cycle this path that takes us, as I say, through to Ray Castle. And then we're going to see if we can get down the side, the west side of Windermere Lake, down the cycle path there, which takes you towards the ferry. Uh, then the idea is to go on through the, or along the cycle path, the bridleway that goes through Kungsey Woods. Come back up to, oh heck, I've forgotten the name of the village. But anyhow, it heads up onto um, Cliff Heights and back to Hawkshead. So that's the plan. And from Hawkshead, we can come back along the cycle trail to where we've parked at Brathe. Brathe, however you pronounce it. Now this route is off-road, but in short section, I can't say it, short sections. You actually come out onto the road, just like we're going to do here. And then you cross the road. Not at the moment, there's a lorry coming. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't quite get the gears down right there. We've got a gate. Oh, I'll just go on it. Thank you, darling. Nice to see somebody else using this route. Because it is amazing. The reason why I'm putting the video online is basically we've had these bikes for over a year and although we live in Cumbria 
it's really difficult to find routes that are off-road that we want to ride. We're trying to steer clear of the, the road itself. Um, so I've been checking the Ordnance Survey maps, I've been walking bridleways just to find routes that are suitable uh, and that are nice to ride, safe, but also with a degree of scenic. Oh, this is where it turns right to Hawkshead. Hi. We've got Hawkshead straight on, two and a half miles. Raycastle, half a mile, which is where we're heading. Uh, the ferry across Windermere is four and three quarter miles away. And Pull Wyke, never heard of it. <laughs> mile away that way, where we've come from. Ambleside, three and three quarters. As I say, it's Route 6, Sustrand 6, the cycleway. So carrying on along the route towards Ray Castle. This is brilliant, but I just can't believe how quiet it is. I mean, the weather's so good. I mean, it is a popular area. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. Would you like to come with us? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to go left into Ray Castle? Yeah. yeah. So this is taking us down to Ray Castle. Ray Castle is owned by the National Trust. I believe it was built in 1840 for a retired surgeon and his wife. It's not actually a, a castle as such, it's just called Ray Castle. But as I say, it's open to the public now, owned by National Trust, and I think there's a, a cafe here. Anybody needing a, a pit stop? Get onto the road and we turn left. Hello. And here's Ray Castle. So what is the cafe called? Joey's Castle Cafe and Bakery. Open seven days, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the moment. Leaving Ray Castle, we're heading back down the access road and we'll get to the minor road and we'll turn left and then a short distance yards we turn left again back onto the bridleway that takes us down the side of Windermere. So here we are the, the gatehouse entrance to Ray Castle. And as I say we turn left here. At this point we've only come three miles and it's left again along here Nigel this is the National Trust now doing their forestry work oh, this is a very easy track to ride very easy, nice and wide, plenty of room for cyclists, horses and walkers. You'd actually be able to get a wheelchair along here as well. It's um, certainly at this point a good enough surface. It just gets us off road and that's what we like. So Windermere is our longest lake, if I remember correctly. I mean, I would think we could call it just about the tourist half of the Lake District. And to be truthful, I do try and keep out of it. Yeah, it was. So this is another parking area, Red Nab Car Park. 
think it looks as though it's a free car park, so useful if you're wanting to do this route because you can go both ways along the track. Oh, and we've got a sign. Let's have a little look what it says. Cliff Viewing Station. Ferry to Bowness, two and a half miles, which is where we're hopefully going to get to. And Ray Castle, where we've just left, it's never two miles. So we're going to go left, continue along the lakeside path. No motor vehicles allowed. Perfect, but it's a public bridleway. Just what we want. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just looking at all the trees down here. Dear me. Gosh, the power of that storm. And I believe it's because it blew in from the non-prevailing direction and the tree, trees just couldn't cope with it. Domino effect, crunch. Goodness. No wonder this bit of the road was closed. <laughs> if I've taken some clearing. A little hill climb. Come five and a half miles. Most of it off road. Wonderful. I know the true mountain bikers won't ride these routes. Way too tame for them. But for Hubby and me, this is great. Although I must admit, I don't mind the odd tree route and a bit more stone. I mean, that's fine. A bit of height, that's fine. It's just technical stuff. Boulders. No, don't do that. I want to stay in one piece. God, what a devastation, Nigel. Slip. So I'm recording this on a, a GoPro Hero 10. I got it a couple of weeks ago just to see what it was like at filming these rides for me. But I found that the speech, the voice mic didn't pick up my voice very well, particularly if it was windy. So I went out and bought myself a media mod and I'm hoping, even though there is a little bit of wind noise, I'm hoping you can hear my voice quite clearly. I've got to remember to put it on maximum stabilisation. Because I did one ride, forgot to put that on. Bump, bump, bump. Had to ride it again. Much to the husband's delight. So we must have actually come off the bridleway now. Where are you going, Nigel? Are you going to the ferry terminal? Okay. Must have just come in, there's some cars. So this is the approach to the, the ferry terminal that goes across to Bournemouth on Windermere. So we've got a little cafe for a bite to eat. I'm just going to see how much it is to cross over. So a pedestrian, it's a pound. I think your push bike is two pound. So the toilets here by the ferry, the free, and what's more, the clean. So that's very useful to know. Leaving the ferry behind, I'm just going to ride up here and see if I can find this left turn for Kunzi Wood.
Right, so if you can see my map in front of me on the display, we're almost at the junction. I wonder if that's it straight ahead, Nigel. What's it say? Huh. Yeah, okay. We'll soon find out because that nav will go uh -uh. wrong way, so it'll say. Puddles, not. It's all right when you can get down them and they're not a great big pothole. Yeah, it looks like this is the right way. Well, that was nice. So if we'd gone round and up the hill, you're heading in the direction of far sorry and near sorry. So we're just doing this detour through the woods and then we'll eventually come back into Neosauri and head off up Clay Heights. Hopefully, depends if this is open for riding. So the tracks become a little bit rougher, but nothing mountain bikes can't handle. It's not so much the bike that needs to worry, it's the rider. But perfectly okay. So left along here. Ah, here night. So over a bridge. And I'm hoping this is a bridleway on the right. Public bridleway. Oh, and look at the cycle tracks, Nige. Happy days! So this is taking us through Cumsey Woods. I hope. But it's looking hopeful because there's a lot of tyre marks. Oh, I just love these routes. It's not a long section. And when we get onto the road at the far side, we then turn right and head into, as I said before, near Sorry. Our e-bikes are the Cube Reaction hardtail mountain bikes. They're amazing. We've got the Bosch Performance CX motor in them, and they really are very, very powerful, just perfect for this area of the country and the hills we have to climb. To try and prevent punctures with our bikes because when we got them first we seem to get an awful lot of punctures well probably because we got them about september october time and round us in the countryside a lot of trees were getting cut well not trees but hot on hedges the farmers were cutting them back well thorns and tires don't go so we got a lot of punctures so i put stronger or thicker tires more suitable to our rural conditions. And then I put Temeth Armour, which is the foam sort of insert. And then on top of that, I put slime in the tubes. So since then, all has been good. I hope I haven't just jinxed this. This is beautiful though. Just following a little stream through the woods. So turned right out of that bridleway, again onto another minor road, heading for the village of near Sorry. Had a sign on the right saying Weak Bridge. We've turned right there onto a, another very minor country lane. The birds are going ballistic. Obviously the nice fine Spring weather has made them feel rather like spring has sprung. So this is a really quiet lane. You can tell because there's brambles almost reaching halfway across the road. So 
so obviously it's not getting many cars along here which is just perfect for our requirements seeing here we're coming onto a road left is Hawkshead, right is near story that's certainly where we want to go near story far story that's beatrix potter land isn't it hilltop not that we're visiting but uh, just for the information of anyone who's looking at this video oh we're passing hilltop actually there we go let's take a little near beatrix potter's house there we go on the route and that's all i'm going to do we're cracking on into near story We're going to turn left. Oh, I've got some flapjack. I haven't got any money on me. You haven't either. Yeah, so the track then becomes rough bridleway heading off for Cliff Heights. I'm going to drop the gears so I get most use out of my power and see how we go. This is certainly more like proper mountain bike riding. Well, kind of. <laughs> Not a single track, but at least it's rough. This is where these bikes come into their own. It's only the rider that's the issue. Sign for Bridleway. Hey, you're good at this, darling. Thank you. So how many miles have we done? Let's have a little look. Change my settings. 12 point one so far and it still is most of it off-road see any ford to cross and then it looks like a nasty bit of rock Guess what? I'm going to push. Even turbo. Okay. I was going to ride it and then I thought, do you know, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> We make our way up here. Oh, hello. hello. I think we'll have a pit stop here now, Jeff. Mosseckles Tarn bought by Beatrix Potter it's gonna, it's gonna get a bit rougher Put it into walk assist. Just 
Could have maybe gone up on the grass, actually. Hmm. See how it goes. This is maybe the better way of doing things. Wobbly bobbly there. As I say, I've got no desire to fall. So I'd rather just get off and push if I need to. And using the grass like this is a much better idea. Lovely. And some herdwigs. Oh, it's cleaned the tyres. Yes, this is a little bit more of an adventurous ride. May not suit everyone. It's actually good fun. Okay. Oh. Oh, is this because of the tree root? The tree down. Ah. Okay, a tree down. Hike through the wood, bypass the tree. Oh goodness, yes. Several trees down looking at that. Yeah, okay. And back onto the path. So we decided today we would head back to Highway using the fire tracks. Because I understand talking to some riders along the route, there's going to be some trees down along the bridleways, so they're not exactly the lightest bikes to hike and lift and push over trees. So that's what we'll do. Heading off out the bottom here, we have permitted bridleway guideposts, Hawkshead near Sorry. Okay, that's where we came from. Thanks, Nigel.
Oh, that's nice. Just a shame it wasn't clearer. That is beautiful, but I don't think it's going to show. got a road ahead indeed so heading for Hawkshead sorry and ferry certainly Hawkshead is what we want hi Oh, it looks hopeful. Hawk said Coniston. Sorry to the left along there. This looks good. Looks like Hawk said ahead. So Hawk said is a lovely little village. Very touristy. Plenty of places to eat. Pubs. I'm going to turn right signposted for Hawk said. Said to the right. We'll just let this bus get past. I'm going to turn left into Hawkshead Village. I think we're going to go for an ice cream. Can just sit under there and have an ice cream? Uh So there's the car park if you want to start the ride from Hawkshead. You could park up there, right out of the car park and then left. Onto the road, short distance along here, and then we're going to turn right. If I remember rightly, there's a fair few gates to open going along here, but um, it's off-road, very pleasant ride. right here quite possibly going to be a lot more tourists walking along here because it's a very popular little route. Thanks. <clears throat> and so we have our first gate. So soon out of Hawk's Head. And thanks now. Turning right along here. This is still Route 6, Sustran Route 6. So through another gate, Bray Castle, still two and three quarters, Hambleside, five and three quarters. The gate brings us out onto a rough lawning and we're going to the left. So this is that lawning I was just mentioning just coming along here we seem to have left the walkers behind as we move away from Hawkshead so this is pretty much going to be off-road right through to Ambleside where we've parked the car at yeah I'm thinking about 80% of this ride 75% has been off-road something like that 
most of it very, very easy, apart from the bit over Cliff Heights, where it was just a little bit rockier. So we hit a very minor road for a little way. Turn right onto it from the truck. Just coming about a hundred yards up the hill. And then we turn left. This truck is well and clearly signed. So let's have a look and see how many miles we've come. Oh, coming up to 19 miles at the moment. He could, of course, cut this bit out from where we turned left off the fire track from base camp. We went left up to Hawkshead. Well, if we'd gone right towards Ambleside, or at least Ray Castle, we'd have cut all this out. And it would cut out a few miles. We're still going to the right then, are we? Yes, Ambleside. Duck! As in duck, not quack quack duck. Okay, so I think I will take the bridge over. Are you doing the stream or the bridge? Ah, now then, this is where we double back on ourselves. We came down from the left and went straight across to the right, but oh no, wait to get the right gear here. That's it. We're now heading back to Ambleside and retracing our steps. So as I was saying, the beauty of this route is really, you can start it wherever you want. If you look at the Ordnance Survey map, you can tweak it. I mean, you could complete, completely cut this section off because um, it's there and back on a single track route. Um, you could just start at Grey Castle or you could start at Hawkshead, wherever there's parking. And that would probably cut down the route to less than 20 miles. In total, we've ridden just over 22 and a half miles today. Easily shortened if that's what you want to do. The route back to the car just outside Ambleside is the same as the one we rode out at the start of this video. So I'm going to sign out here. I hope you've enjoyed it and get to ride it at some point. Bye now. I forgot to add that if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and I think I'm supposed to say subscribe. So by all means, feel free. Bye now.